Everybody, this is the 6.5 PRC round. Uh, it's a neat new round um, that it's just been created in the last few years and it's really taking off in popularity. The question is, will it actually dominate 2021 rifle sales or will it really dive bomb like so many other cartridges that have come out to big acclaim and then eventually just disappear from the shelves? So we're gonna do a deep dive into this cartridge today and see if it really stacks up. Essentially, the 6.5 PRC is a Magnum version of the 6.5 Creedmoor. It's also a short action cartridge. And I guess if you were to think of it like a football analogy, uh, which hopefully we'll play with this audience, the 6.5 PRC is a wide receiver. It's uh, long, thin, agile. It's going to go flat down range quickly. Um, whereas, you know, it's not like your, uh, you know, 4570 government is your your fullback or a lineman is your 50 BMG kind of thing. Uh, the 6.5 PRC is more about precision and long range strikes down at the target. The design goal of the 6.5 PRC was to get a 6.5 caliber bullet to go 3,200 feet per second in a short action cartridge. Um, the reason they couldn't go to a 7 millimeter is because they just couldn't make it do it. Uh, couldn't get a short action cartridge uh, to shoot a 7 millimeter bullet at 3,200, so it's a 6.5. The 6.5 caliber has been obviously extremely popular because of the 6.5 Creedmoor, and of course we have to compare the two, which we will definitely talk about in a bit. The standout feature of this cartridge is that how flat it actually shoots. So if you rank all 88 of the most popular bolt action calibers on the market, and you rank them by how flat shooting they are at let's say 500 yards, the 6.5 PRC would rank number 21 out of the 88 cartridges. So it is very, very flat shooting, but it's you know not quite the laser beam that some of the others are that we're also going to do cartridge profiles for. I should stop and mention, if you're new to the channel, if you go to backfire.tv and you look up the cartridge profile for the 6.5 PRC, we have an amazing resource uh, there of just every imaginable number you could want to know. Uh, we're looking at many, many different loads and finding average drop and average foot pounds of energy. So you can get a real apples to apples comparison between each of the different cartridges that we've profiled on, the cha on this channel. So number 21 out of 88 for flat shooting is really, really good. Another interesting thing about how flat shooting it is, is if you do an analysis of uh, Google search interest by state for the 6.5 PRC, what state per capita do you think would be most interested in the 6.5 PRC? The answer is Wyoming. And I think the reason is Wyoming is giant and largely flat in a lot of this state. It is very open um, and they're shooting antelope often at a distance because antelope have good eyesight. Uh, and so it kind of makes sense that Wyoming would be the number one for 6.5 PRC. Whereas other states, as we profile other cartridges, you'll be really interested to see which is the main state. And every time you think about it, you're like, you know what, that kind of makes sense that, it, that that cartridge would work better in that region of the country. Next, this cartridge cartridge absolutely crushes Audad and hogs. So I shot the 6.5 PRC on a hunt last week in Texas and it was awesome. The 6.5 PRC was excellent for that hunt, really for the same reason that I mentioned earlier. It's flat shooting and it's about the right amount of energy to take down an Audad. Audad are tough. I, in fact, once I got it down on the ground, I was surprised just how thick that animal is. Uh, they're tough animals. Um, and so here's the, here's the actual footage from it. Um, I came up on the, on the odd ad, we kind of came just over a rise and the odd ad were down kind of in a little bit of a draw. Uh, they could see us and they kind of ran up and then they hesitated. Um, they hesitated to come on it. There were about five odd ad there and the biggest in the bunch, which it was really hard to field judge uh, odd ad. It was tough to tell which was the biggest. When they turn away from you is when you could actually tell which one was the biggest. Uh, so this guy turned his head away and we're like, okay, I want that one. Um, but he beds down for a while and I'm waiting five, seven minutes 
Um, and finally the big guy stands up um, and because of the brush I had to shoot off shooting sticks so I was sitting up um, it just with you know my butt on the ground sitting up and then had shooting sticks and it was um, was it I think it was I think it was 355 yards if I remember right I think it was 355 um, no 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 I'm sorry it was 300 yards away um, and on shooting sticks, uh, there was enough wobble there that I was a little bit nervous, uh, but got it, put it right in. He was a little bit, a little bit angled toward me and I shot just a little in front of the shoulder, drilled him. He runs downhill about 15 yards. I took a second shot, even though he was pretty well down, uh, just to be sure. Um, and he was done. So, uh, I had a Sierra match King bullet, uh, in the cartridge and I, it, it passed, it went all the way through the animal and it stopped on the far hide. In fact, there was just bullet fragment. Shoot, I should show you. Wait here. I saved the bullet fragment, of course, because I'm a nerd like that. Um, but the Sierra Match King bullets are not meant to like really stay together and be this ultimate penetrator. Uh, they really separate up and just throw shards everywhere. Uh, so here's the jacket in the far side. Hopefully y'all can see okay. And a few other assorted shards of metal. Uh, but it was interesting. They didn't spread as much. It was still a punched hole there and all the pieces were like sitting together. Uh, so it was very interesting. That was the first uh, game I've taken with the Sierra Match King. Um, and for Audad, I mean, it certainly did the trick. It brought him right down. Uh, with the 6.5 PRC. Now I mentioned uh, Audad and Hogs, so it's so cool. I shoot the Audad and I'm um, just high-fiving there, all excited, right? And then all of a sudden, like 30 Hogs just walk over the hill and stand right next to my dead Audad. <laughs> and I was, I was like, what the heck? And so I shot at one and I missed. I hit just right below his foot. Um, and then I, and then there was another one that hesitated there. He turned toward me and I just drilled him right between the eyes, uh, oh, on that hog. Shit. Very cool. Uh, definitely one that I'm going to want to bring into the woods again. Plains game in Africa. Mm, that may be a 6.5 PRC hunt for me next year. All right. The 6.5 PRC has more foot pounds of energy than even the 30-06 from 160 yards and beyond. Let that sink in for a minute. More foot-pounds of energy than the 30-06 uh, from many, most even, hunting ranges, 160 yards and, and on up from there. Um, so we'll put the numbers on the screen here, but at the muzzle, the 30-06 gets 2,866 foot-pounds of energy compared to 2,707 from the 6.5 PRC, but because of the higher BCs on the average bullet, and it's just a smaller caliber, smaller bullet, um, it's the 6.5 PRC is going to catch up there, uh, and it, the speed that it retains is able to give it higher foot-pounds of energy going forward. Now, one thing I have to mention after that is having more foot-pounds of energy does not necessarily mean it's more deadly. Uh, foot-pounds of energy is one measure, and actually it's a pretty good measure of how powerful a cartridge is, but it does bias towards speed. Uh, because speed is the higher number and they're just multiplied together uh, compared to that and the, and the weight of the, of the projectile. And so um, I wouldn't necessarily say that the 6.5 PRC is more deadly on game at whatever, 180 yards. But uh, certainly at getting at, at range, uh, it probably is a better choice. And it depends on, um, you know, exactly what kind of game you're hunting and your bullet construction, etc. But I thought it was really interesting. More power than 30 out 6 for at, after 160 yards. Okay, the next one that I'm going to consider a con here is that this cartridge actually isn't that unique. Um, and not that that really matters. It's not, a, it's not a uniqueness contest here. But as I really started researching this cartridge, I thought, Huh, it's kind of interesting that this one became popular because there have been other 6.5 cartridges that are pretty darn similar to the 6.5 PRC that just were never quite the commercial success. Uh, for example, 6.5 SOM is 50 feet per second faster than the, the 6.5 PRC in general. Uh, the 6.5284 Norma uh, is 100 feet per second slower uh, and it was created before this. 
Uh, the 6.5 Weather Weatherby RPM was created after it, um, and they're extremely similar. Weatherby just likes to have their own cartridge. They, they don't like to just use the common ones that are everywhere uh, as often. So overall, um, while it is a really cool cartridge and I, I do like a lot about it, there are benefits and drawbacks to it. Some of them we're gonna mention. And so if this one isn't quite right for you, you may look at some of the other 6.5 cartridges that aren't quite as popular. All right, let's talk recoil. This cartridge recoils pretty mildly. Just about any adult shooter is gonna do fine, including a lot of youth shooters. In fact, I'm considering getting my 11-year-old a 6.5 PRC uh, to step him up a little bit from his 6.5 Creedmoor, but there are a few cartridges, 7mm08, several that I'm looking at for him. Uh, we'll see if this one wins out. Um, but the recoil is almost identical on a 6.5 PRC to a 308. They're very, very similar. On Backfire's real recoil rating, the 6.5 PRC scores a 40.1 and the 308 is a 40. I mean, they're just about identical. Now that Backfire real recoil rating, if you're not familiar with it, um, that's looking at a lot of different factors, more than just um, foot pounds of energy or the free recoil. Um, we're comparing, you know, the velocity, we're comparing how heavy the average gun in that cartridge is. We're looking at many thousands of firearms and seeing exactly how much they weigh, what cartridges they're in, and then that's in the data that we put in, that we pull in to see on average what will your real experience be shooting each cartridge. Um, and it's just about identical to a 308. The next pro here is that the 6.5 PRC is rapidly rising in popularity. And the reason I say that that's a pro is the real question here is how long will it last? Uh, you know, we're shooting cartridges like the 270 and the 30 out six that are almost 100 years old, one of them well over 100 years old. Um, and so it makes you worry with these new cartridges in 10 years, will it even be possible to find ammo? And sometimes people have been burned with that where they thought a new cartridge was gonna take off and it just didn't. I think the 6.5 PRC is here to stay. Um, and the reason is uh, I've talked anecdotally to several people selling guns at gun counter and it's like, hey, what, what cartridges are moving right now? Um, and they said, you know, Earlier this year is all 6.5 Creedmoor, and it's certainly moving, but 6.5 PRC is really taking off. They're, they're flying off the shelves pretty quickly. Um, and so that's a good sign uh, for cartridge availability in the future. Now, the last one to mention here is a con. In fact, it's a major con uh, to the 6.5 PRC. Barrel life is just acceptable uh, in a 6.5 PRC. Backfire's barrel life expectancy is 1,328 shots uh, for this. Now that sounds really low, but it's actually a lot better than some other cartridges um, in Magnum kind of calibers. Um, the 26 Nosler, 730 shots per barrel. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't wanna rebarrel every 730 shots. Um, the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 6.5284 Norma um, both get well over 2,000 shots. And so barrel life is quite a bit shorter. Um, but I think a lot of people, um, in fact, we've even seen from the comments, uh, I saw several people that said, I didn't even know you could shoot out a barrel. <laughs> you know, if you shoot um, 308s and you go every, you know, shoot a box every year before hunting season, no, you probably never will shoot out a barrel. Um, it's gonna shoot a lot, a lot, a lot of rounds through it. But right now, a lot of cartridges are shooting fast and hot. I mean, everybody wants the new hot rod caliber and that's gonna kill your barrel life. And so if you shoot frequently, um, you know, you're gonna shoot several hundred rounds a year or several hundred rounds a month, uh, then barrel life is really something you need to pay attention to. So for a hunting rifle and 6.5 PRC, for a precision rifle, I, I think it's going to be just fine as long as you're aware of that. Now, I have to put the caveat on barrel life expectancy. Um, we've done a pretty significant data analysis to get very accurate data there uh, for what you should expect. But it depends on how hot you shoot the gun, what loads you use, et cetera, um, what exact bullet you have in there. Um, there definitely are factors, of course, but we've found that formula to be 
surprisingly accurate to, to real. Uh, so check out our uh, cartridge profile over on backfire.tv. This one is just up there. I know you're gonna love those. We've heard great feedback on those pages from you guys.